Hey there, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com, and we just got done wrapping up the Google I.O. 2013 keynote, and one of the big focuses was on uh, Google Play Music and what they've done to the interface overall, and as well um, as a new service they're calling All Access, which is a subscription unlimited music service that's kind of been rumored for a, a good while now. But they've also rolled it into a complete redesign of the Google Play Music app. So when you launch it now, you'll be taken into what's um, being called Listen Now. And it's an area that shows not only um, things that are already on your device and uh, what you've listened to recently, but also things if you've signed up for all access that are available to you. So you'll see uh, things like radio. And let me go ahead and turn down the brightness here should uh, help things out a little bit. You can see uh, radio stations, things that you've recently added, recently played, uh, recommended radio stations, recommended albums. They want it to be uh, an experience where if you want to just launch the app and start listening to something, you go to listen now. Now, of course, you can sort by what's just on the device as well because this is a streaming uh, situation. Um, with this slide in panel from the left, you get access um, to your traditional library of just what you've uploaded to Google Play Music. So as it says right here, start building my library and it'll show things uh, that you would traditionally see in the Google Play uh, Music app before uh, this update. Now what you will notice is that you're not seeing just album art here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll see uh, more of a focus on artists. So you start seeing these really nice pictures of all the different artists. So it's not just the um, album art and it pulled all of these in automatically. I didn't have to do anything. So as long as things are nicely uh, tagged and everything of that sort, we're, uh, it looks like from our perspective that they're just gonna add this stuff for you for, uh, for free and automatically. And you'll see the overall design kind of looks very similar to the most recent Play Store refresh where you can swipe between these small tabs on the top. And of course it's gone to a um, white and orange theme instead of kind of a dark blue, gray, orange uh, theme as before. So if we uh, just dive in here, maybe we want to listen to some Audio Slave. Now we'll see um, the album album covers uh, if you have complete albums. And you can also tap in and view uh, all songs as well. And you can start playing something as well. And what you can do here now is just like before, you have all of your plays, your... Uh, thumb up, thumb down options, everything like that. But you can also tap the little playlist icon and you'll see the playlist. And if you don't want one in the playlist, you can swipe them away. So if I don't wanna hear this song, I just swipe it away and it's removed from the queue. And then you can also grab the anchors on the side and drag them around into whatever order you want. So when you hit shuffle, it just does that automatically and shuffles them around, but you can also granularly control where they go. So it works the same whether or not it's on-device music or something that is um, found in All Access. So if you're signed up for All Access, it's really seamless. It shows up um, just anytime uh, you search. So if I wanna search for something, um, I just searched for Steve Aoki earlier. And once you run a search, you'll see you can search by artist or you'll it'll start pulling you albums. It'll show you individual songs. And it's not really uh, distinguishing between what's on your device and what's part of your all access subscription. So if you just click on the artist or tap on the artist here, you can just um, tap on a song and start playing it. And it's not clear at all uh, to you because it just doesn't matter whether it's on the device or whether you've purchased it or whether it's part of your subscription, it just starts playing. And what you'll notice here is you also get the um, same ability to swipe away to clear these and uh, grab the anchors and reorder them as well. So if we go to something else, I'm not really sure what if we want 
Ratatat, maybe there's another good band. So it'll show things, now these are on my device already, but then it'll also show just the, the artist page itself and you can find other things um, that are outside of your library. So these are songs that aren't, but they're just top songs. So they're gonna show up along with the other things that are in my library technically. And it's very easy to add something um, on all access to your library, which is quite interesting. So it'll just show up as long as you keep paying your monthly subscription, those things will um, stay stuck into, uh, into your library just as anything else would. And if we go into the settings just really quickly, you'll see everything is very similar uh, as before. You can manage your caching, your downloads, quality of streaming, Wi-Fi streaming, refresh it. Um, and the one improvement is a equalizer. So you can um, go through and adjust all of these things that some people like to do without a separate app. So that is your look at the new Google Play Music and uh, Google Play Music All Access uh, streaming service that Google announced just today at Google I.O. Thanks for taking a look, guys.